Hi everybody, I'm Anita from the blog Whispering Pines Homestead. I'm really excited to share a couple of recipes with y'all today that I have been making all summer. My sausage zucchini fritters and my Aunt Jody's squash casserole. These recipes are so easy, they're really tasty, and they're gonna help you use up that abundance of zucchini and squash like we all have right now. And they're low carb. The recipes are already in the description box below, and so I'm gonna show you step by step exactly what I do to make these yummy summer recipes. The very first thing I did was cut up my squash, and I'm actually doubling my recipe because I wanted to make some for my parents, so you will not be doing what I do here. So just follow the recipe below in the description box. You can slice the squash, but because I had some overgrown squash, I scooped out the seeds and quartered mine. Then I just added some water to my pot, almost level with the squash, and I set that on the stove sprinkled it with a little sea salt and brought it to a boil and simmered it about 10 to 15 minutes. I just do it until it's fork tender. I also chopped up an entire onion, which I sauteed until tender and lightly browned in a couple tablespoons of butter. And again, you can use as much or as little onion as you want. And because I'm doubling this, I'm really using about a half an onion for each casserole. And I'm just checking to make sure that it's tender or not, as in this case, and I let it cook a little bit longer. After my squash was cooked, I drained it, then put it into a large bowl and added my cooked onions, beaten eggs, cheese, mayo, and my seasonings to taste. And this is always up to your specific taste, whatever you like. I love this Pennsylvania pepper in mine, and I also added a little bit of salt, not a lot. Then I just stirred it up really well. The squash is kind of tender, so I try to be careful not to really get it too mushy because I like to have the texture of the vegetables. After preheating the oven, I prepared my glass baking dishes with some olive oil and then I divided my mixture in half. For our version, which is a lower carb version, I made a topping with a stick of butter and one cup of almond flour. I actually just melted the butter in a bowl in the microwave and then I added the almond flour and mixed all that together. Then I just spread that around on top of my casserole. This is so yummy, y'all. It really is good. For my parents' version, I basically just took a box of stovetop stuffing. I added a little hot water to it, put the lid on just to kind of rehydrate it. Then I put that on top, and that's kind of more of a traditional squash casserole topping. I baked mine for about 35 to 40 minutes to really get it nicely brown on top and bubbly. And you can see those yummy, yummy bubbles. This is so good, y'all. It really is good. And I really think the low carb version gives you all the flavors of the traditional squash casserole without a lot of the carbs. For my zucchini fritters, I started by grating my zucchini. Then I sprinkled a little sea salt and let that set a minute just to render out some of that liquid. Then I put it into a feed sack towel and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed to get as much liquid out as possible. And y'all, this step is so important. This is gonna make the texture crispier and browned and not so watery. So this is a really important step. Just keep going until you feel like you can't get any more liquid out. Mm -hmm. 
I put my zucchini in a large bowl and I added a chopped onion. Four beaten eggs. About three quarter cup of almond flour and then some spices which you can adjust. I, because I'm using sausage in this, I used garlic powder, onion powder, dried rosemary, a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and about a cup of Colby Jack because that's just what I had on hand. So you can kind of do this to your taste. Again, this Pennsylvania pepper, I absolutely adore and I use it in just about everything. So here you can see I've mixed up all my spices to my taste and I'm just gonna dump those in. And I'm gonna stir it together. You know, I got this idea thinking about sausage balls. I love, you know, those old time sausage balls people used to have at Christmas time. And I thought this would be a great idea to kind of do a similar thing. So you can see I work in my sausage. It's just a pack of sausage, I work that all in. Then I took a spoon and tried to get equal tablespoons out and just shape those into patties to put on my parchment paper. And my oven has actually been preheating to 400. I baked mine for about 30 minutes and again you know this is going to depend on your oven I wanted to get them nice and crispy on top so about 30 minutes on 400 degrees was exactly what I needed but again you might have to adjust this depending on your oven and they came out so lovely let me know if y'all try those recipes and let me know how much you like them. Also, if you have a recipe to share with me, please do so because I'm always looking for something new and different to use squash and zucchini for. Again, the recipes are in the description box below and they're also on my blog, which is linked below as well. In the meantime, y'all just enjoy the squash and zucchini while we have them. Mm -hmm.